Arkansas has officially eclipsed 300 coronavirus deaths as nine more people have lost their lives since yesterday. We saw a smaller jump in new cases today with 259 reported since Monday, but any enthusiasm from that low number of new cases was tempered by a new record high number of people in the hospital. 32 people have been hospitalized since yesterday. 83 of them are relying on a ventilator. Those numbers brought fresh concerns about the state's capacity to treat that many people. Public health officials and the leading hospital trade group insist they can. ICUs are filling up, but that is not because of COVID-19 patients, at least not yet. Same demand not only for COVID patients, but also for patients with other health needs that perhaps put off care earlier in the pandemic and may now be having more serious concerns. The two most populated parts of the state each have more than a thousand beds on a regular basis. Northwest Arkansas has nine hospitals in two hard hit counties with 91 ICU beds. Central Arkansas has 16 hospitals for a total of 3,200 beds. Two Arkansas mothers have a plea for their fellow Arkansans. Please wear a mask. Both mothers have newborns who are now fighting the virus. And tonight, THV 11's Jordan Howington shares their story. Uh, it's stressful. I'm angry. I'm stressed. I'm sad. I'm I'm hurt. Lexi Gale, a bitten mother, is watching her baby, two month old Preston, put up a fight against COVID-19. Doctors at Children's Hospital are doing what they can to help him. They ran antibiotics through him, but uh, the antibiotics would weren't there to fight the virus. They were supposed to help jumpstart his immune system since he has little to no immune system. Gail said her son caught the virus from her fiance. She says he is an essential employee who took every safety precaution, but it was others around him who didn't do the same. And there are so many families that are suffering from this and how many more will it take for people to realize that this is serious. Preston has had the virus for a week now and still not clear. He can't break 102 fever and his body aches are so bad. His mom says he flinches at every touch and by doctor's orders, she's consistently checking his oxygen. I'm worried if my son is going to stop breathing in the middle of the night. In El Dorado, another mother's emotions run high. Her four month old daughter, Gemma, is one day into COVID-19 diagnosis. She believes her daughter caught the virus by a loved one who was exposed by someone else not taking precautions. People on Facebook or on social media in general complaining about wearing masks when it's not about them. Dana Palculet says Gemma's coughing. She can't eat much, but she's surprisingly doing okay, but urges people to start taking the virus seriously because it's bound to impact others more aggressively like it has baby Preston. Meanwhile, Preston's mother is hoping for a full recovery despite his doctors unsure of how this will turn out. I don't feel like I can trust anybody. I don't feel like I can leave my house. Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. As long lines form at Arkansas unemployment offices, the Department of Commerce is warning about unemployment fraud. Secretary Mike Preston says it's a problem all over the country. Scammers are using the names and personal information of people who are not filing for unemployment in an attempt to collect those fraudulent benefits. You may even get locked out of your account if fraud is suspected. So contact the Division of Workforce Services if you have a concern. We want to make sure that we're a step ahead of those who are coming in and trying to defraud the system. So we ask that uh, if you do feel like you've fallen into that arena and you feel like you're a victim of fraud, uh, please let us know. So far, $330 million has been sent out to Arkansans from the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, but thousands of Arkansans are still waiting. Despite spikes in new cases of the coronavirus, the Trump administration is making an all out push to reopen schools this fall. Skylar Henry reports from the White House. During a roundtable discussion at the White House, the president backed up his calls for students to return to the classroom this fall. We're very much going to put pressure on uh, governors and everybody else to open the schools. It's very important for our country. It's very important for the well-being of the student and the parents. But during a remote House committee hearing, the head of the nation's largest teachers union said the race to return lacks the proper plan to keep students and educators safe. We've got millions now facing overcrowded classrooms, um, trying to figure out how do you make that work coming back? 
The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, agrees with the president in that students should be back in school. But he says districts will have to get creative with their approach. The secondary unintended consequences of having children not being able to go to school has ripple effects for the family that might have de deleterious effects that really override the so-called safety benefits. Dr. Fauci also notes the country is still knee deep in the first wave of the coronavirus pandemic. The CDC has issued preliminary guidance for schools with social distancing and mask wearing guidelines, but officials emphasize a need for all involved to follow them. We can get back to school. We can do so safely if we all think smart, if we accept our individual responsibility and our collective responsibility. As schools and universities finalize fall plans, Florida's top education official is mandating schools open statewide, despite recent spikes in new COVID-19 cases. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Well, if you love Amazon Prime and seeing your package in a matter of days on your doorstep, that wait time is about to get even shorter. Today, Amazon announced plans to open its first fulfillment center here in Little Rock. The new 825,000 square foot site is set to launch in 2021 and will create over a thousand new full time jobs. At a time when people are worried about their opportunity to earn a living, we're giving them new opportunities that will come about in the very near future to be able to not only earn um, a living, but to create a career. Amazon is also playing a new 85,000 square foot delivery station in Southwest Little Rock, which is anticipated to launch in late 2020. Yet another one of Central Arkansas's favorite events falls victim to the pandemic. I'll let Marlisa Goldsmith tell you as she joins us from her home. Marlisa. Yeah, Craig, Harvest Fest in Hillcrest has become such a popular event, but its organizers announced today there will be no event this year. Over the last couple of years, Harvest Fest has seen record crowds of more than 25,000 people, which is obviously a big no-no right now. Event chair Steve Schuler says the organizing committee had been holding out hope that the virus would stop spreading and the show could go on. But they ultimately had decided that they had to make the call and cancel it. We're really hoping that it could be, you know, a celebration not only of, of fall weather coming in, uh, but also of the end of the pandemic. Uh, but now, at this point in July, it's just really obvious that the pandemic will not be over. Harvest Fest also raises money for good causes like the Allen School, PTSA organizations at local schools, and neighborhood improvement projects. Organizers say now they're turning their hopes to Harvest Fest returning in 2021, but the committee has not yet picked a date. Craig.